How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode 14 of the Zero Overall Rebuild with the Miami Marlins. In the last episode, if you missed it up above, you know what to do. Hit that link so you guys can go and get caught up on episode 13. It was a really good episode. You can already see we had a pretty good start of the season so far. So if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like below. Subscribe if you were new and enjoy the content. And as always, make sure you guys leave some comments. I love re reading your guys' comments. It's a great way to interact throughout the series. So let's, let's get into this month of april as you guys can see we do have our last game of the series against the nationals and we have a couple interesting games i know we haven't played the phillies or the mets in this um franchise which we probably should because they are a divisional opponent um, we are going to play them later on in you know the season so i'm kind of thinking maybe we wait till later on in the season because i kind of want to play at coors um just because I don't think we're gonna get another chance to. Um, and I feel like it'll be a really cool game to play at Coors. So I'm thinking we're gonna play at Coors this month. Um, you guys can see we are three and two and the season's going by pretty well. So let's, uh, I'm gonna do some scouting off, off, you know, off camera, off everything so you guys don't have to see it. And then we'll go through the rest of the month and I'll show you guys how the season's going along. So next time you guys hear from me, we'll be starting up the game against Colorado. Alrighty, so as you guys can see here, we're six and 19 on the season, going a lot better than it was previous year. As you guys can see, we beat the Phillies once, two to nothing. Ray Almanzar got that victory. Um, Virgil Tata got his second win of the season already, um, coming up against the Cubs here. And then Yoander Mendez got his first victory of the season as well. So we're up to six victories already within two seasons. So like my prediction of 20 wins might actually come true, which I'm kind of hyped about. But going against the Rockies, we're going to be in Colorado for this one. So we can pick Almanzar, Cole Stewart, or Virgil Tata. And I'm thinking Cole Stewart, even though it's against their better pitcher, just because I haven't used Cole Stewart yet, and I kind of want to see what he's about. So we're going to sim the first game. We lost 8-1, to one, which is a little disappointing, but we are going to go into this game and see how we do with Cole Stewart. And um, yeah, let's let's get into it. We're going to be rocking what, what jerseys are we going to rock today. Gray is kind of boring. Not going to lie. Gray is kind of boring. Um, so let's go with, let's go with like the old school with the black uh, accents. And then obviously Cole Stewart is going down in rating. Ooh, our shortstop's kind of tired and so is salgado Ooh, that's um that's a bit not good and everyone's gonna be a little bit lower than normal because of morale i'm assuming so i'm just gonna rock with the normal lineup sean robles hasn't been doing well we're gonna skip that anyway so today's game we're going against the rockies you guys can see their lineup here david dahl Gar Avisel Garcia, DJ LeMayhew, Trevor Story, Charlie Blackman, Tony Walters, Ian Desmond, Derek Gibson, and Tyler Anderson. Tyler Anderson's 4-0 on the year with a 2-2 ERA, so it's definitely going to be a tough matchup. Only 8 walks with 27 strikeouts over 32 innings, so he's definitely, definitely doing pretty well this season. He's a lefty on the mound. Okay. So here in Coors, I just wanted to play in Coors. You know, I don't, I don't feel like we get that opportunity too much. The Rockies are 16 and 11 on the year. Alrighty, so far two up, two down. The star of last episode, Stuart Merrill's up now. Let's see if he can do it again. 68 speed, probably not beating that one out. So we go one, two, three inning. A one, two, three in this inning. Ah man, this is not a good start. This is definitely not a good start for us. All right, Cole Stewart on the mound. His uh, overall is a little bit lower than. It was when we started the season. Already Maverick Moss make the play, throw it to first. A little bit closer than it should have been, but we still get the out on one pitch. DJ LeMayhew, the new Yankee in real life. Let's see how he does against us today. Good contact hitter for sure. Alrighty, again, 0-2. We got two outs. Let's throw in a little change up down in the zone. We get the K looking, and we're heading into the top of the second inning. Let's get these bats going. I was a little bit on top of it, a little bit on top of it, pretty early as well. So let's see if Kevin Page can get us going here in the second with two outs. And you know what he does? That's a base hit. Oh, I thought maybe the shortstop was going to get that, which would have sucked because I was just saying it was a base hit. So it was a little bit early on that announcement. So 
There we go. Kevin Page, the catcher, keeping the inning alive. All right, now we got Maverick Moss, who actually played pretty well in the last game. I know he started a couple rallies that we had. So maybe he can continue that going forward. You know, keep the, keep the hot bat going. And like I was saying, let's keep this hot bat going, Maverick Moss. We are sending, um, who is it? Who, who was on first? Kevin Page. Kevin Page is going home. I wanted to send Maverick Moss to third, but I wasn't sure if the cutoff was going to throw it to third or not. And I would rather be safe with Maverick Moss at second than trying to extend it to third. And then maybe this run doesn't score. So, you know what? I'm cool with that. A RBI double for Maverick Moss. And he's hitting the ball really well. All right, now we got the baby, the baby Mesa. I guess I shouldn't say that. Victor Mesa Jr. is up. We're just going to call him Jr. And you know what? That's actually decent contact. It's going to be a fly out. But hey, two out double Maverick Moss coming in the clutch there. Look at that. He he absolutely smacked that in the gap. It really should have been a triple. But I'm going to be safe. Kept it at a double. And we got a 1-0 lead. And uh, hit to Villanueva. 90 speed for Story. He's probably beating this out. Yeah, he is. Ooh. Just Villanueva took his time just a little bit too much. And that's that's a single. That's a leadoff hitter. And Charlie Blackman fouls it off again. Come on. get Stop messing around here, Charlie Blackman. Just strike out. Get out. Ooh, he goes off the, after the slider inside. Way inside. Ooh. Ooh, what a strikeout. There we go. Tony Walters catchers up. Let's see if we can get a double play ball. Ooh, he's going. Oh, he's going to somehow get on what okay first off i was saying he was going like trevor story's going then tony walter somehow gets on top of that and then kevin page goes and doesn't pick up the ball so now we're in a really bad spot first and second one out ian desmond's chasing the slider luckily but what what is this sequence of events that's going on please make the catch thank you maverick moss we at least get the second out there, but man, we got what? O2 now. We're going to hit him with a little inside change up down in the zone. And you know what? There we go. Cole Stewart makes the play, gets us out of the inning after a little bit of a little bit of uncertainty behind the dish um, from Kevin Page. That was uh that was a little scary, I'm not going to lie. All right, speaking of Cole Stewart, he's going to be leading it off for us here in the top of the 3rd. Let's see if uh, the pitcher can help himself out. And it's looking like he's going to, with a rip over the head of Trevor Story, into kind of the left center gap. And to be honest, I like it. I like it a lot. It's kind of like Real Menzar last season was helping himself out. That's a nice swing. That's a pretty swing from a pitcher. So back to the top of the lineup. We got Victor Victor Mesa up, who grounded out to third in his first at bat. And he's going to rip it into left field. That's dropping. We need Cole Stewart to get on his horse and get to third. We're not going to send him home, but now we got second and third. No outs. Victor's heating up this season. He's got his ninth double on the year, and we're swinging the bat pretty well. All right, Villanueva, this is your this is your time to shine. If there was ever a time for you to get a hit, this is it. At least that's going to get the run home. I will take that. It is going to be a ground ball, but we get a run. That's another run because you know with me pitching, I always somehow screw it up. We make it a two-run ball game, and we still have a runner in scoring position with Victor Victor Mesa at third. And that should do it. It's, it's, it's a fly ball. Right field, 86 speed is not going to be thrown out at home. That's... That's another RBI right there. It's a 3 nothing ball game. And to be honest, that's a great way to start the game here in Coors. And that's going to be a fly out. And that's going to end the inning here in the third in foul territory. But a three-run game now thanks to a double by Victor Victor Mesa. Cole Stewart got a single. And then just, just some small ball, you know, ground ball hit to second base. Sack fly to right field. And... Uh, we're looking we're looking good now 
Alrighty, back to the top of the lineup for the Rockies. David Dahl, David Dahl, holy cow, just took that change up deep. Oh my god, 443? Yikes. Wow, okay. That was a bomb. I need to see the, the location of that. Uh, he was just, I guess he was just sitting... Uh, change up because it wasn't a horrible pitch all right Villanueva make the play let's get our second out of the inning um geez he crushed that this ump is on just he's what I don't even know what to say about him I mean he gives us a strikeout looking I'll take that but whoa that was a those are a couple bad calls back to back And there it is, ball four, a high cutter, and we got the leadoff runner on once again here in the fourth. Alrighty, 2-1 count. Let's go. Kevin Page, this is your time. Not to hit into a double play. Ah, oh, man. It was a changeup, and I thought I got enough of it. Alrighty, last time, Charlie Blackman went after an absolutely horrible slider, so we're going to kind of throw it in again. Stuart Merrill is there. And Stuart Merrill, if the ball's hit super hard at him, he makes the play. But apparently, it was, what was it, last game? If it was like a little floater to him, he didn't make the play. But if it's if it's rocketed at him, if it's just absolutely ripped at him, he makes those plays. All right, Tony Walters hits it to Sean Robles, and Sean Robles makes a mess of it. And because of that... Tony Walters gets a base hit. Not too sure about that one. I think that that's a that's a Sean Robles mistake right there. And let's see if we get him chasing the slider. We do. And that's what I'm talking about. Cole Stewart keeping the composure, getting the strikeout, and gets us out of the inning. And got us, you know, that second run. So let's see if he can do it again. And Cole Stewart is on a mad one today at the plate. Two for two? Okay. Who's uh who's he been taking batting practice with? Because he's he's just smacking it, it's just right past Trevor Story. Okay, we got Victor Victor up, who ripped it to left field last time. So come on, Victor, let's keep it going. Or ground into a double play, which kind of sucks because I would have liked I would have liked another run. We're in some trouble, but bottom five now. David Dahl's up. And he roped it, or he, yeah, he roped that one. And the, at bat before, he took us deep first pitch. So he's looking to swing first pitch apparently in this game. So we got to be careful with him. But luckily for us, he hit it pretty central. And Victor Victor Mesa was able to make the play. And now we got Geraldo Villanueva's up. He's hitting 256 on the year. And I'm hoping he's not going to be Sean Robles for me, like where I just can't get a hit with him. Kind of hoping we could get the bat going with him, show off his ability, and that's that's just gonna be a fly out. Sean Robles, please drop, please get over his head. Come on, I feel like Sean Robles hits to that gap quite often, and I feel like I think that's the second or third time that he's done it. And he's gotten, no, it's the second time because it happened last game. And he got robbed, which sucks because he's actually getting some decent contact now. It's just, they're not they're not letting him drop, you know. They're not letting it drop. That should have been gone. That was a slider right down the middle. Jesus. All righty, 1-2 to Avisel Garcia. Bottom six. Let's go. High fastball. Victor Jr. Make the play out and left. Come on. There we go. One out. Like this game, I can't remember for sure I want to say that's correct but can we make it another out we do Maverick Moss is gonna make the play at second base there we go two up two down Cole Stewart's probably coming close to an end um I mean his stamina's getting his energy bar is getting pretty low bottom six I mean he's had a pretty good outing three three one ball game you know only mistake was David Dahl taking a change up deep so, I mean, I can't complain about his outing so far. So, maybe maybe we need to up the difficulty for pitching. So, 3-2, two, two outs, Trevor Story. See, like that, he should be swinging at that. That's a fastball 
caught a lot of the plate. So maybe we need, maybe next game, we just up the difficulty for pitching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But we're out of the sixth. It's looking good. Chad Bettis is coming in from, okay, so a righty now. And this, that's probably going to be out number three. Unless it goes out of play. Alrighty, 1-1 one, one to Charlie Blackman. Cole Stewart just hit like the orange-yellow energy bar. Come on, Maverick Moss, make the play. Oh, he's not going to. So we got a leadoff runner for the Rockies. Not good. Not good at all. Tony Walters is 2-for-2 two two on the day. We're going to bring a lefty. We're bringing in the lefty. You know the man, Darvey Jarvis. Here we go. All right, come on, Darvey. Are they really stealing? All right, it was a hit and run. And luckily, it's going to be a fly out to left field. So... That doesn't come back to hurt us. All right, that was Darby's only hitter because it was a lefty. We're going to bring in Troy Lee. Looking pretty solid over 15 games, 17 innings, 2-6 ERA. So let's see if Lee can uh, get us out of this jam here. Well, I guess it's not a jam since there's a guy on first. But you know what I mean. One out. Hit him with the fastball. Oh, baby, get some looking. That's what I'm talking about. Troy Lee with the K. And now we got Gibson up, the third baseman for the Rockies. Still man on first. Troy Lee, you got you, you can't be doing that. That's that's not cool, man. So 0 2 count, two outs. Got the tying run up to the plate. Just got enough of that change up. Alright, let's go back to the fork. And get some. Oh yeah, so the leadoff runner doesn't matter. And we get the next three batters. So 159 for Victor Mesa Jr. Mm, that's not good enough. Alright, top eight. Two run ball game. We need to get one more. I don't think that's going to drop. I think the right fielder is going to be there. Oh, he misses it. That's going to go pretty far deep into the outfield. 69 speed. You know what? We're going to we're gonna leave him at third. We're going to leave him at third. I'm not sure if that's going to count as a triple, but I hope it does. There we go. Victor Mesa Jr. gets his first triple. That's what I'm, hey, I was saying. We need to get him going, get the bats going. He's only hit 159. The dive by the right fielder is missed. It goes deep into the outfield, and we're able to get him going. So you know what? That's good. We're going to bring in Brian Taguchi. His nickname is going to be the Gooch. I know it's it's a bit childish, but oh well. I'm gonna, I like it. So the Gooch is up. Top eight, no runs or no outs. That's, that's going to be a line drive out. We're still going to send Victor Mesa Jr. Because Blackman's got a noodle arm. And he's safe. Oh, he squeezed in there. Okay. So the Gooch delivers with the sack fly. Makes it a three-run ball game. All right. We're bringing in Yimmy Garcia. Hopefully keep this game to a three-run ball game. They've brought in Geraldo Parra. We don't have any more lefties. Otherwise, I would have brought in a lefty. So just, just got to get some outs here. Stewart. Sean Robles. I'm not even going to throw. Sean Robles. What? That was. What? What? Can we not? Why can we make like kind of difficult plays? But the the easy ones. The super simple plays. Are just like impossible for us to make. I just don't understand it. Luckily. David Dahl didn't take that change up deep. Maverick Moss is there to make the play. And uh, we do we do come back. We get the out there. But what? What was that? What is Yimmy? Does Yimmy Garcia just want to you know blow this game for us? High fastball, and he goes after it. We get the K there. Ooh. Okay. 3-0 now with Trevor Story up. We need to throw a strike here. Oh no! Tying run is up, and it's Trevor Story. Oh man, we got two outs, which is a good thing, but. Yimmy, you need to throw a strike, man. Come on, Salgado, please make the play. There we go. Gets out of that. Thank you, Yimmy. You actually threw a strike, and it didn't come back to hurt us. Whew. Whew. Scott Oberg's coming in. Stuart Merrill's up to the dish. Let's see if we can get some righty-righty crime going. Start the ninth off right. I think that's going to be a fly out to center. 
All right, Sean Robles, you better make up for what you just did at third base. I want a home run right here. No other, nothing else is acceptable. That's basically what it comes down to. You better get a home run or I'm not going to let you play next game. The Gooch is going to take over for you at third because what you just did was just unreal. And he might have just done it. I think he just did. Oh, no. He's still going to get a triple here, which is perfectly fine. But I that, that has to have just like... That was a moonshot, and that had to have just come straight down perpendicular with the wall. There is no way, or parallel, it's parallel. That's the word I wanted. That had to have come straight down parallel with the wall. Yeah, that that, that literally was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a home run, and we just missed it by like an inch. Oh, man. I mean, that he came pretty close, so I guess I can't complain about that. So Salgado's up with one out. Um, any any kind of hit gets the run home. Like that. that. That was perfect. That's exactly what we needed. And Salgado rips it past the third baseman. And 80 speeds on first now. I cannot complain about the way we're hitting the ball lately. Alrighty, 80 speed on first. Kevin Page is up. And uh, that might actually get to third. Charlie Blackman's arm's pretty weak. Ooh, Charlie Blackman was playing pretty shallow, actually. So first and second, one out. We got Maverick Moss up, I believe. Which... With the way he started the game, I'm not going to be upset about that. So let's see if we can get him, you know, continuing to swing the bat, keep the bat hot. And uh, that that should do it. Yeah, that is going to do it. I'm going to actually be really greedy here. I'm going to send Salgado home. And Maverick Moss is getting another ribby. That is a hot bat by Maverick Moss. Our lowest rated player is absolutely killing it lately. And this is awesome. Like, he's just, he's swinging it. And he's, he's finding gaps, which is ridiculous. Who would have thought our 44-rated second baseman would be swinging a bat like this? Alrighty, so Yumi Garcia is going to come out. Um, Victor Mesa Jr. just hit into a fielder's choice. So let's see if we can uh, keep the inning alive here. Rain Rodney. E yikes. Why did I swing at that? That was gross. That was disgusting. So come on, Rain Rodney. Let's keep the inning alive. I think that's going to go foul. Oh, it's not rain. Rodney's going to deliver here in the ninth. You know what? We're going to still be greedy. And we're going to send Victor Mesa Jr. home. And he's going to get in. Rain, Rodney, pinch, hit, double. It is a 8-1 to one ball game. And that's Rain, Rodney's second double of the season. And he's not getting a lot of at-bats. So he must be swinging the bat decently as a pinch hitter. And this team, we're low rated. And we're somehow still delivering. Man, this is crazy. Eight-run game for us. This is madness. So top of the ninth still. Two outs. Come on, Victor, Victor. Yikes. I think that's... Oh, man. This is a bad game for Victor Mesa Jr. But it's an eight-to-one game. And uh, I had my closer warming up. So we're going to put in Dave Julio. Um, nine ERA. So maybe we need to move him from the closing spot. Because it's not looking like... He's uh, he's doing too well in that spot. But, I mean, hey, he threw a strike there. So let's hit him with a curveball. See if Charlie Blackman goes after it. Ooh, that's, that's exactly where I wanted it too. So it's not bad. A little changeup, a little splitter. He doesn't have a changeup. He has a splitter. Two seam up and in. Can we get him? Charlie Blackman. How are you? That was only 90 miles an hour. So, I mean, it's not the fastest of fastballs, but he was way ahead of that one. I said, I said earlier this... When he got into the game, he didn't have a changeup. He does have a changeup. Changeup, splitter, curve, and fastball. He gets Tony Walter swinging at a ball in the dirt. And we got a quick two outs. Ian Desmond is up. Let's just attack him too. Everyone, they're just looking like, they're just really antsy. I guess they want this game to be over. And, uh, ooh, that curveball has some dip on it. Fastball up in the zone. Hits it to Geraldo Villanueva. And that is a ball game, eight to one victory for us. We absolutely killed it. Holy smokes, we absolutely killed. Uh, what is that celebration? You can't be doing that celebration. It's 2019. The dab's dead. Can't be doing that. But hey, eight to one victory. Eleven hits for us. Defense little shaky. A couple times. There were a couple plays. Sean Robles made two questionable plays. But overall solid game Ray Rodney two RBI double pinch hit double Victor Mesa Jr. had a triple he scored twice Victor Victor Mesa had a double he had a run Maverick Moss 
two ribbies on the day. Maverick Moss is cooking. I think in both games that we've had, he's had some pretty clutch hits and he's delivered pretty well. So, I mean, he's having a solid game. Cole Stewart gets his first win of the season. Six innings, five hits, one run, um, and six strikeouts. So, that's, that's definitely not horrible. Tyler Anderson receives his first loss of the season. And um, this is at a point where maybe we need to just up hitting and pitching because eight runs is a lot to put on a team um, that's actually doing decent throughout the season. Um, and especially for a 4-0 pitcher who had like a 2.2 ERA. So maybe we do need to up the difficulty while we're playing since we are a little bit better now. But that'll be something you guys should decide in the comments. Let's see how the rest of the month finishes. We lost that game three to four. Who got the loss? Richard Humphrey got the loss there. The Mets, we lost. I don't I don't care about your trades. Um, the Mets, we lost again. And we lost against the Mets there. So we've already matched our win total from last year. So to be honest, I cannot complain at all. This was a four win month for us. So maybe this month we'll head into you know a five win month. Who who knows? Who knows? So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, I mean, team's looking good. Team's performing well. And I can't complain where we're at this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.